Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to some more God of Weapons. It's time for some more Jester runs. Who knows what's going to happen today. We'll just uh, see what happens as we step into the arena. Um, I'm seeing night. Uh, not normal night, though. Is this Spellblade? We're using the fire, the enchanted mace weapon. Not Spellblade, um, Eldritch Knight, I believe. Which is kind of like Spellblade, right? It's just a knight class. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, we also have 15 shi uh, energy shield. Eldritch Knight energy shield. Super tank. Armor, magic power, super tank. Okay, I'm down. Let's try. Um, yeah, so this gives extra shield for every adjacent magic power item. We get extra magic power for each and melee power for each armor. Armor mods are more effective. Uh, um, this is crushing enchanted, not my favorite starting thing, but also not terrible. We don't have to be. We don't have to be enchanted weapons either. Um, but Fire Mace does kind of fit the theme here. This is two magic, two melee. That is kind of what we want. But four armor is like the same thing, right? Four armor is also two magic, two melee, but it's also it's also four. It's also five armor. OK, um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go hard with the tankiness and also. Also fire maces. So we have two. They're a little slow. And honestly, we haven't really used Fire Mace. Ooh, Ruby Staff is. Ruby Staff is kind of good here. I would think. Maybe not now, maybe later. Maybe this maybe this is the answer for the moment. Right, because Ruby Staff, the thing with Ruby Staff, right, is it's the 1% damage per mat for like, for what is it, four magic power, six magic power. It's good later on, but early on, you just don't have that much magic power. So like 1% damage of 24 is like not a relevant number, <laughs> not it's not a whole number. So who cares, right? Um. But, but once you're doing, you know, hundreds of damage, then it's a little bit more and that's more than 1%. So we'll see. We could also, yeah, but Blessed Mace is just Blessed Weapons, not Enchanted. So I would like, it's also Rapier. Just stick with the Fire Mace. Do we want to take a I think we do want to take the armor here. I think this is very on theme. 25 armor. And the scroll of mastery. Do we how how hard do we roll here? I'm gonna lock this armor and this scroll, and I think we're gonna take both of those in the next shop. I would really like. I would really like you. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I guess at some point we do want some magic power items to put next to our amulet so we actually have more magic shield, but. You know. Currently, it doesn't really matter. We, I mean, if we go like all in on magic shield and armor, we don't really need recovery stats, which is going to be. Um, 
interesting considering that's not typically how I play, which is part of the fun I'm having with Jester, I think. Is we're going against the normal play patterns. Oh, I think Bell's actually just fantastic here. Um, and also it gets to go right here. And that actually gives us three bonus. Oh, it's three melee. For some reason, I thought Bell was three magic, three melee or three magic, one melee. That's slightly less great than what I was thinking of, but it's OK. Oh, I will. I will take a level <laughs> a floor three revive 100 percent. OK, so we're a big tanky battle mage right now. We are. We are all in on this. This theme. I wonder. Hmm. See, the problem is there's no like. As far as I know, there's no way to scale our damage off of our armor, really. I mean, aside from literally our character trait that does it, I was thinking like a weapon. So we're kind of just left to our own devices here. Um, no need to buy the potion. We're kind of fine. I don't want to take luck down. Warrior shield seems almost pointless. I'll take another fire mace, I think. It's OK. It adds more magic power, adds some more vitality. Another dice is great. I'm going to roll mm, once or twice more just to see. I like the idea of more more breastplates here. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of interesting, right? Like this character is meant to be the tanky, the tanky melee magic hybrid. And we got the magic, we got the mana shield relic. So now we're kind of like, we're really leaning into it. Like we, this guy has fully specced into defense in every way possible we have five spaces okay well i guess we're gonna go across first and then buy that we're not getting the blessed maze that's just not what we're doing right now there's another one okay i'm gonna keep taking them i think that's fine roll a couple more times all right another dice is good dice just more luck early seems good how much armor do we have 55. Okay. I mean, that's upping our damage, so I'm kind of okay with it. And there's not really many more effective ways to get more armor than that. Like, turtle shell is better. I mean, it's less armor, but it's, you know, it takes half the space only for 10 armor for two less armor. And then like uh, dragon scale gives less armor, but it's only one slot. So. It's kind of just fine. I'm going to I'm going to take another one. Very tempted to just grab this flail. Um. Oh, the scaling goes up on the fire mace, huh? Oh, that's pretty good. What do we do here? I'm not like this bell can go, honestly. It's fine, but it can be replaced. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be replaced because everything here is kind of sucking. All right, well, that's that is better. 
And then we're going to sell a scroll of mastery for a looking glass for extra XP. Not so bad. <laughs> this, is, this is a weird one. But it doesn't feel bad. I mean, we've got some damage. We need some range. We we desperately need some range. Because currently we are suffering a little bit from that. So a lantern would be big. I don't think I'm desperate enough for a spyglass, like realistically. I would. Yeah, I mean, basically just a lantern. Uh, any asking for anything more is kind of greedy, I think. Uh, did we just get 10 spaces? And did we just roll into a Grimoire, which I don't love that we lose all the armor, but also. Uh, hello, energy shield. Uh, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Night gauntlets. OK, if there was ever a time for night gauntlets, it is now. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think. I don't think we're doing a move speed build right now. What is happening? What 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 is this shop? I will take another Knight's Gauntlet. Sure. Sure. Um minus five armor. I don't love it. I I really don't love it. But you know what? I'm probably just going to skip it. Because it's yeah, it's a lot of damage down. I don't we don't really need it. Yeah, I'm going to. It's like against the theme of the build, too. We have 54 mana shield. Holy crap. Oh, I, I, you know, I've never gone like super heavy in the mana shield in my time with this game yet so far. So we're going to we're about to find out. It doesn't hurt that we're like a high armor build either, because it it makes the mana shield a lot more valuable because normally you just like you pick some region stat and, you know, you're going to get hit the way the game works. So you just recover your life somehow you just try not to take too much damage at once and this is why we need range because we're just we're not able to defeat all the enemies so we're not getting enough xp and whatnot but that is the fire mace but is it no it's tier one i'm extremely disappointed by that um i think we're still in the business of taking it Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we're not. Um, Exquisite fans, interesting. When are we standing still? I know we're slow, but like. We're not ever standing still. Yeah, I'm not I'm not about it. Great Demon Skull, on the other hand, is. Pretty good, but also not something we need right now. Chalice isn't bad. Just for what we're doing. I will gladly take a Dragon Blood Elixir. Shackles is a weird item. Shackles is a very weird item. OK, I guess this is just what we're going with. I'm not like insanely thrilled with that shop, but given how good last shop was, it's OK. I probably should have just bought another mace, honestly.
I mean, if I wanted to do this completely optimally too, I should have moved off maces a while ago and into like a better weapon or like a more varied, more very varied selection of weapons because honestly, maces aren't that amazing. Ow. Okay, well, our mana shield's gone and the screen was shaking for some reason. Like, it feels like it was more so than usual, but whatever. That's fine, mana shield recovers between waves, so it's good. Um, question. If I was to... Uh... All right, we're gonna science a little bit. If I... Put this magic staff, right? Now if I take this magic staff and I put it right here. 42. 45. It does count the bonus that it gives to the magic items for the magic amulet. Okay, so now we have a magic staff. Cool. Cool. We're probably going to have to rearrange here in a bit. Um, do we want an elixir of last breath? Probably not. Probably do want a bracer. It's two armor and one to each damage stat. Oh, it's a little more than two armor. Yeah. Oh, there's the there's a the miniature lantern we wanted. I think we take that over scroll of mastery. And I think we just ignore like the other stuff. Or 10. I mean, we are a battle mage. Let's be real. I, I'm not. I don't feel bad about adding a, a, a staff here. At all. Those damage numbers. <laughs> the ones. How much magic shield can we get to? Obviously not as much probably as like, well, this ain't not as much as like a wizard. Probably not. You probably have to have another class. I was going to say, does anything give you bonus? It's just, it just counts items adjacent. So I don't see why this guy would be any worse than others. I don't think there's any class that makes items give more. Oh, wait, yes, there is, I think, but maybe not magic power. Oh, tiny slimes. Tiny slimes everywhere. OK, well, that was actually just like a really good wave. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put this here and this here. I'm going to buy this and it's going to be absolutely incredible. Um. Unfortunately, it's not next to this, which leads to a situation where I need to bring this down, this up, this here. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. This can go like here. We lose out on one magic power, but we get like everything from this, so it's okay. Oh, wait, what if I just move this? I'm so oof. I'm clue. Oh, but then it's not touching this. This is touching this and that. Uh, but what if this? This? It's touching everything now, but now this the book isn't touching. The staff, right, right, that's. Well, I mean, not everything is going to be touching the staff, right? I guess that's the kind of the joke. Currently, uh, I will take a dragon scale. Yes. I guess we'll just take another elixir since they seem insistent upon giving it to us. I really don't care about the fan. We could go with a second magic staff. I don't think it's actually terrible. 
I think it's actually pretty decent. Now there is some issue about placement, of course. Because like, obviously we want this touching all the, we want these to be like touching everything and it's like a whole, it's like a whole thing, but I'll wait till we have a little bit more space to figure that out. Um, cross one would do about a billion damage right now. Do we need another, need another miniature lantern? We have 72 range. I don't think so. This should be fine. I feel like we're good now. You know what? We haven't gotten any, any dust of enlarging, also known as uh, PP dust. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one to stick. It, yep, it's, it's in there. <laughs> it's, oh man, we, we have fun here. Uh, our attack speed is like very bad, huh? But we do have 81 extra health. Plus 100 natural health. Plus a ton of armor. But we're just the tankiest thing. Oh my gosh. I mean, not quite like beggar infinite health tanky, but that's like almost cheating. Okay, we're just going to straight up exchange that. We're not doing the trident thing. We don't care about life steal. It's a rare statement for me. Three magic power, seven recovery. Um, yeah, that is something I'm interested in. All right, move the things over. It's time to. Time to do some things. Uh, not this one. This stays here. This feels like it should be here. This feels like it should be here. But this can't touch this. Oh my god, this is hell. It's only adjacent things. So... What if, okay, I'm going to pull down a couple of these so we just have a bunch of space. What if this was over here? This was here. All right, so this is 51 right now. It's now 62. Oh, because this isn't touching this anymore. It's now 64. Now it's 70. That's better. That is better than it was. It's kind of weird. Um, the layout's a little funky. But it is better. Oh, that's a turtle shell. OK. All right. We desperately need attack speed now. Red cube. Actually. I'm going to pass on the red cube. So this is the first time the red cubes actually just like been a pass in my entire. Oh, we have a whole nother item over here. Oops. Whoops. I almost uh, threw that away. PP dust. I see. This is why you look. This is why I'm saying it so that whenever it rolls in the shop, I can get excited and say PP dust and then no one questions me. So I don't look insane. OK, let's just sell this dice and buy another one of these. So we have like a billion armor. Yeah, 75 percent damage reduction. We have tons of flat damage here. Uh, this has 70 bonus shields We're at 85 shield now. With 75 damage reduction. You know, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if the, the book is unique or not. I don't know if I've ever gotten two at the same time, which is kind of interesting. Because if the book's not unique, then in theory, we could just like put a bunch of books around it. But I think it might actually be. 
are unique in that sense that you can only have one. Because you can't... I'm just trying to think of other items that are similar to it that, like, we found multiples of, and I don't think, like, Masterwork Arrow, I don't think I've ever had two at the same time. I will take this. I'm just going to upgrade this because it's our starting thing. It feels right. All right, Pocket Watch is literally exactly what we want. I think the other thing we're looking for is a Storm Eye. I think that's pretty high on the list of wants. Probably could have just taken the. Um... Wow, we're also skipping Vampire Heart. That feels bad. We're also probably after the fan that I just skipped over, which also seems very silly in retrospect, but it is what it is. All right. Can we have something game? No, just a whole lot of. A whole lot of nothing. It's fine. It's fine. So we've passed Red Cube, we've passed Vampire Heart. Very strange. Very strange run right now, but I mean, it's not going that bad. Like we're, a Storm Eye would really just do it. Like just one Storm Eye and all of a sudden we're, we're busted. But currently, we're we're not, um, just because our attack speed's so low. We do a lot of damage. Uh, but not not fast enough. Not fast enough. It's a good thing we have. Uh, and a little HP buffer, so I don't ever have to worry. I uh, probably could have looked at a Ruby Staff there, too. May have been an oversight. Take three more magic power, but, like, I don't know where we're putting that relevant to our magic amulet, so it's probably a pass. I don't... We only have 22 luck. I'll take a dice, sure. Oh, there's another pocket watch. I'm down for that. Straight up on the fire maces. Vampire crown, again... Not doing that. I'm gonna take another dice just to get our luck a little bit higher. Mystical finger is in for the attack speed. Uh, these are all misses. A bracer is probably good enough, but I don't have a spot for it currently, and I'm honestly just like not gonna sell anything. So we can wait. Yeah, I mean, I, this is, like, if we just got only pocket watches for the rest of the run, I think we just win. Just from sheer, like, flat damage on our, on our armor stat. Eldritch Knight's kind of strong here, like, significantly better than in Baldur's Gate 3, but, I mean, you can... You can beat that game with literally any class, so it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure you can beat that game on Tactician solo with any class, too, but that's because you can have, like, infinite access to scrolls and potions and whatnot. So that's a whole different thing. It's all that Mines of Moria, not Mines of Moria, um, well, Return to Moria or whatever the hell it's called. The, the Lord of the Rings survival crafting game came out today, or I guess yesterday at the time this video comes out interested about that one i was watching co carnage played a little bit earlier liar is fantastic we don't use life steal so we get the full benefit finally it looks okay it looked a little generic though from what i saw not like not like bad generic just like this is a survival game that i've seen 800 times oh okay well this is This is quite good. Uh, oh, gross. All these things need to come. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Down, down. To Goblin Town. Um, 
Frick. Frick and a half. Um, pull this here, do it this way. Something, th th shouldn't there be another, oh no, this is the book, not here. Okay, now it's got 76. That's a, that's a little bit better. How could this be better? If we had the staffs, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is also six. It's six, six. So if, jeez, okay, I think that's better. So right now this is giving 74. I feel like I wish all the items weren't upside down, but I feel like if we were to do this, right? And then move this. Well, this is already touching two. If we moved it over, it would just be touching two different things. That's not really a special thing. So now it's at 80 bonus. Okay. Um, I'll sell, you know what? I will sell one dice to add a looking glass for more space. Pee pee dust. Pee pee dust. Never turn down the pee pee dust. Look, that that saying is either going to get me a bunch of subscribers or lose me a bunch. I'm not sure yet, but I'm in for it. <laughs> I'm committed to the bit at this point. Um... Do I just do I just go crazy right now to sell this bracer for a no we we sell the dice buy this we have 122 armor which is I think we've hit the damage cap our damage reduction cap at 75 percent but we still get the stat bonuses from armor so it's fine. We have 95 mana shield right now. So we effectively have a... We have 95 extra health every wave. But we also have 75% damage reduction. So... It's like 4x that. Yeah, that's decent. <laughs> that's okay. Also, notice our clear speed has gone up significantly after picking up the liar. And I mean the uh, the other stuff we grab, but like we're at 96% XP rate in the top right. I really hope whenever they bring out their next patch, I I'm hoping it's going to be like just a bigger patch since it's taking a while that they clear up some of the confusion around the like translations and wording and whatnot well sacred leaf is just actually incredible here isn't it yeah that's definitely the damage cap but like look look at this it's 25 life it's 20 armor that's literally 10 melee 10 magic it <laughs> it has no downside uh that's insane I think I'm going to sell an Iron Curus here for uh, Bloody Teeth. I think we're also selling two dice for a dice set. We're trading up, if you will. Um, hmm. Okay, I think we're selling another Iron Curus for a Turtle Shell. Because it just makes sense. I will take this. I'm going to use it on the staff. We could potion amulet, but like, do we care? I don't care. Okay. Um, this is a lot of money and I do enjoy taking it. Where does it fit? Probably for this iron helmet. It helps us do some dumb things in the shop. We're like super slow now, so that uh, I'm still waiting on my storm eye to really bust this open, but we're fine here. We're going to get a few elites. We should be able to kill them 
relatively easily. I will say I really enjoy about the Jester runs so far is that previously, like when I was recording these videos, I would like, you know, I knew which I kind of knew which class I was going to play when I sat down and uh, you more or less have a general idea of how it's going to go based on the class. But now, like, I don't know till I step into the room. All right, because it doesn't even show you in like the the uh what should we call it the the lobby area you have to actually step into the dungeon and figure out as you go we are taking a lot of damage here which is fine i it's not that wasn't really the best set of enemies for us uh also don't we just heal oh we restore health equal to our armor at the beginning of every floor oh so we full heal every floor that's cool um we could looking glass but it's a little late we already have two revives. No, Knight's Gauntlet's actually just great for us. The PP dust. Um, <laughs> it's so dumb. I'm so dumb. Uh, more? Okay. Okay. Um, might start to have to go to the doctor if that keeps up. A three. I'm just gonna. Honestly, like, get me in here. <laughs> I was actually going to bump that up a little bit. It's pretty good. Okay. More armor for a little less fatality. Sure. Sure. These are, these are good things. All right, I don't want to spend 100 gold to reroll, so it's fine. Do so have 97 armor now, or 97 shield with whatever our armor is, and we full heal because, well, almost we almost full heal every wave because of the the leaf item that I basically never take ever because it's typically not good because it cuts your other healing methods in half, which normally is very very bad um however with magic shield it's not as bad we are struggling a little bit here with dam damage or just like our ability to clear again i think that's just kind of the nature of not finding a big like a Big, broken, unique item, like Stormeye. I keep saying Stormeye, I'm gonna will it into this world. Um, there's a liar. Okay. We could also cross wand. It does a hefty, hefty amount of DPS. But it is a blessed item. We're not a blessed, we're not a blessed item user. So I'm not gonna do that. We take a miniature lantern, up our range a bit. Um, I'll take a ring of power, I guess. It's fine. Not exciting, but it's fine. Three vitality for every armor item. Well, all right. Well, this is going to be funny. It's like 60, it's like 60 vitality. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. There it is. There's the dust. Can't go wrong with it. And I'll get a Masterwork Spearhead for a, another big damage bump. A Divine Punisher does 637 DPS. It's, you know, it's not that far ahead of these. I'm still thinking about the fan. Is it, is it worth it? You know what probably is like sell this armor, just like stop being dumb and just take the armor. I don't have enough money. Well, <sighs> I said stop being dumb and then <laughs> and then immediately made a fool of myself. OK, whatever. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. How do I not have enough money? 
I literally took a golden chain. So many elites. Oh, my HP. <laughs> we're, we're so slow. Oh gosh. Okay, well, we've lost all of our... We've lost all of our mana shield almost immediately at the start of this round. That's not great. One of the good things about having extremely high max HP, though, is um, when you revive, you revive with half HP. So, you know, if something terrible was to happen, we would come back to life. We'd have half HP, so that's OK. You know, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Um, I also, you know, could not run through the middle like I'm doing right now. This is like not the way you're supposed to play the game. But it's also quite funny to me. Um, OK, let's take the fan because I feel like we're going to use it. Blade manual does nothing for us. Same with lamp. Dice, it's floor 18, so that doesn't matter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. OK. It does seem like it is time for um, the Blessed Staff. If you heard that, that was uh, the ringtone, my wife's text tone of Kirby. Yep, yep, that's a... Uh, that is a hefty chunk of damage for my weapons. Uh, Ruby Staff gives 1% damage for four magic power, which is uh, 10, 20, 30% bonus damage on these that it's touching. That's pretty good. Game keeps trying to offer me Masterwork Arrow for some reason. We could go Thunder Spear. Like, could sell this armor, put a Thunder Spear like right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, doesn't this take seven? No, it's only a six slaughter. OK, well. It the it convinced me. It convinced me. I'm still I'm still wondering where my storm eye is at. I, I can't like I don't understand why I haven't received it yet. I guess it got lost in the mail or something. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we're kind of a menace now, though, now that we've added. Uh, the red laser and the lightning spear, the lightning spear is is on brand. It is a. It is not a blessed weapon. It is a enchanted weapon, so. I feel fine about it. 97 and a shield. It's going to walk out of the way of that. And we have the fan now for extra attack speed. We're at 5k DPS. With effectively 300 HP. And max damage reduction. Oh, uh, pretty, pretty powerful. I would say. Not the most powerful build ever, but also not uh, not weak. Look at that guy trying to hit me with the blade at the very end. What a what a piece of crap. OK, we have two thousand dollars to spend. That is another spear. It's really hard for me to to not just say that that's the right choice in just taking another spear right now. Like, how do I not just go, OK, get rid of this, put this here, take this spear, throw it right here, and then we're like. Yeah. Yeah, that just feels right. Um. OK, well. Well. <laughs> well. This is 
this is an incredible item. All right, so we can get rid of like, I don't want to get rid of luck yet. Let's get rid of experience. Who needs experience? Not, uh, we don't have much crit. I just realized we're on 14% crit. That's pretty low for my builds typically. Another runebound crystal, insane. Oh, maybe that's why we have no crit because we have all these runebound crystals, whatever. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'll take another mystical finger. That's fine. Dragon blood elixir. Nah. As I say, we could do better. Maybe not. There's another one. OK, now we can sell the dice set by this crystal. Still no. <laughs> After all of that. All of that nonsense. All right, this is putting at 90. <laughs> That's pretty good, but like, I think it could be better. I think it could actually. <laughs> do more somehow if this was here right this is 96 and technically there's spot for another one there's a spot for another one so if we moved like this here and this here and move this up and move this here we also don't even need this we can sell that um, and buy this for just like shits and giggles. Now it's touching everything. It's at 108 shield bonus. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I don't really have any other magic items to put this next to. Unfortunately, everything's already like being used up. I don't think there's anything else I want to sell either. It's kind of weird. We didn't maximize our inventory here and it's kind of a mess. So I greatly apologize for this one. Sorry, friends, <laughs> but I was focused on the mana shield. We have 123 magic armor. That's ridiculous. And we never got a storm eye. So weird. I think the game is mad at me for skipping. Um, for skipping the red cube. I don't think I've ever done that before. And I think the game took it out on me. Which is unfair, but like, you know, it is what it is. Iframes? Iframes. Get iframed. I am the magic knight here, not you, sir. You know, that was a fun run. It's very different. We killed 7,000 enemies exactly. Very satisfying. Look at all these runebound crystals. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We were the mana shield at night. Cool. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. And if you have a run that you want to see or, you know, a very specific like thematic role RP type of run, let me know. Otherwise, we're just uh, fooling it up until new patch time comes out while we try out other games. Um, there's a playlist to all my uh, Calamity 5 clears of every subclass in the game on my channel if you want to check that out. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Jeff out. Bye.